There is one of the biggest car explosions in Liverpool since the RA bomb in Manchester. I've had seven cars blown up, four houses, petrol bombs. Uh, I had a pub at the time that was bombed, uh, nail bombs thrown in, um, shot at, chased, stabbed. Because my head was that fucked up in jail and I couldn't really protect my wife. I did protect, they, they never got to her. Hmm. said, yeah, we nearly got your beer today, but we'll get it again. They had five or six doormen bringing it to the jail and scanning the jail to make sure she was safe to come in. Which is, but I'm waiting there on a visit thinking, are they going to get it? Are yeah. they going to swill it or are they going to ram it? You know. Yeah. What the fuck has it got to do with me, Bert? Mm. Get me in here. There's loads of your firms in here. I'm here on my own. Listen, I went, listen, wait till I get out. Let's keep it on the street. You've got lads coming in and say, he'll send them after me. Yeah. No one can fight a gun. Mm. I'm walking around with a little dillinger in me, in me fucking undies and one, one of me little aircon, a little slump nose 38, thinking I'm going to get shot, but I'm going to get shot. You're going to get fucking shot. I to run all the clubs and we wouldn't allow drug dealers in the clubs. And that's when the fireworks started. That's a bomb of my business. Then started targeting me. And I don't give a fuck who you are or what you are, how big you are. I'm not standing for them. I've got five daughters. So I don't want to see my co my kids having drugs. There's all nice kids that takes that one night when they're out, there's one to go, oh, just try it, just try it. They try it, bump, they're on it. I didn't want to do that. So I would let them in the club selling it. And a fucking war started. That went on for like, truthfully, about three fucking years. With certain people out there. But it was fucking horrific. And it got... Look, I wore a bulletproof vest for 18 months of my life, apparently. I was going to the auction, buying cars, running cars off the road, dragging people out the car. They was doing the same to us. My dorm was getting follied home overnight. I was getting follied home overnight. Everything's well documented in all the papers. I've had four attempts on my life. There was five grand put on my head in jail. Then it went to 25 grand put on my head in jail to cut my fucking throat. And he, he'd always carry the knife. And then two weeks before he died, he come and give me that. I said, what the fuck are you doing with that? And he'd been over the road and they'd sharpened it for him, cut up the weight on that. <laughs> the fucking weight out. He went, you want to keep him flat? That's my best mate and my safety thing. He went, mate, come on. He went, I want you to have it. I went, what are you giving it to me for? If you need it, he went, I don't need it. So I thought, taking it off him, he doesn't need it. Yeah. He must be getting better. I said, okay, all right, yeah, I'll have that. So I just, I just turned it away in the office. And then he gave me it on the, the, the Friday and on the Monday, I couldn't get him. Then a neighbor come round who had a cake and he fucking dead in bed. This is a tribute. It's a tribute to Ambien, the keeper. I have his ashes in the gym. Yeah. And I keep that on the wall, so no, it's not a weapon. It's